So I actually learnt my beekeeping without Varroa and it, um, it was a, in April 2000, a beekeeper came to our lab clutching some mites and that was my first introduction to Varroa and the first introduction for all of beekeeping in New Zealand changed from that moment on. As Varroa originally evolved on a different species of honeybee, that's Apis serrana. And on Apis serrana, the Varroa can only breed in the drone cells, that's the males. And you can't kill a colony by killing males. And they can't reproduce in the worker cells so that means Apis serrana and Varroa could get this balance. Because if you're a pest, you don't want to kill your host because you end up dying as well. But what happened was Varroa jumped species onto Apis mellifera. And that's the bee that we manage everywhere, of course, for commercial pollination and honey collection. And in that, it can reproduce both in the worker cells and in the drone cells. And because it can infect both, it can actually kill Apis mellifera colonies. Well, not only can kill them, we, when Varroa came into New Zealand, we had a 300,000 hives here. Very quickly, it spread out through all the hives. And what it means if we didn't treat our hives in the autumn, most of them would die. Um, we've got a million at the moment hives. If they weren't treated this coming autumn, we might have a few thousand alive left in the spring. And then they would die soon after. So for most of the world, Honeybees can no longer survive without human beings. They're kind of tied to our existence as well. From that moment when Varroa came into New Zealand, our research program changed, of course, and uh, we've been working on Varroa for 20 years on that process. Um, so, so for what we hope to do in this video series, of course, is give beekeepers in Australia a good introduction to Varroa, um, take away some of the mystique and fear about it, and learn the sorts of things that you can do um, to manage it in the way the rest of the world does. And hopefully not make the mistakes that most other countries have done with it. Mm -hmm.